Thank you, Michael. I was hoping I'd get a chance to talk. Um, so, uh, just kidding. But um, anyway, um, uh, going back through the uh, Florida State game uh, again, uh, very uh, proud of our players' efforts and uh, and and making plays. Um, you know, really throughout the game, and then in particular in the in the fourth quarter to to win a, a great game and um, in a great environment. You know, it, it was. Uh, you know, it's been talked about a lot. It was a, a great crowd and exciting uh, uh, venue to play in. And uh, Florida State played a, a very good game. They're a very excellent football team, and I'm sure they're going to go on and have a good, uh, a great year. Um, I was, uh, I guess, defensively, I, I was really pleased throughout the game. I, I thought, you know, holding them to two field goals until the fourth quarter. Uh, was was really great, great defense, and even in the fourth quarter, outside of the one play, you know that they just receiver makes a nice adjustment back to the ball, and uh, our DBs one thought that one guy was going to intercept it, the other guy just is waiting on the ball and thinks the, the receiver's out of position, it's just going to come to him. He adjusts in front of him, and you know it happens. I I saw, I saw it happen in the NFL yesterday. So it, it, you know just, uh, these things happen once in a while. The receiver made a nice play and scored, but. Uh, the rest of the time, I thought the guys were really, really great run defense and uh, got six sacks, forced a couple, uh, you know, some turnovers. So that, that was all positive. Um, guys that really played well, uh, players of the game were uh, Tom Wart um, and uh, Javon Harris. Uh, both had huge games. Um, Frank Alexander up front uh, also had a, had a really good game, and Travis Lewis. Um, and really, everybody played well, but those guys especially. Um, offensively, I, I thought uh, I was really pleased with uh, the ability to run the football, um, in particular to start the game, to, to calm, the, to quiet the crowd, and go down and start start the game with an 80-something yard drive was great. And then to finish the game the way we did, eating up the clock and getting a two-possession game was really positive. A little bit tough in between, but hey, let's let's remember. Florida State, and I think their front four, their front seven is going to be very, uh, going to be maybe the best or comparable to anyone we're going to play all year. I, I think that, you know, they deserve some credit. They played tough and hard up there and did well. We, we messed up uh, some blocking assignments uh, on some occasions that we, we've got to get better. And um, in some of those areas, uh, where we, we uh, saw there were some mistakes there that also, you know, we can, we can be better at. I thought. Uh, Landry was really good uh, all night, and in particular in the fourth quarter again when we really needed him. Um, running backs did a nice job, took care of the football, picked up blitzes. Uh, you know, really did did well that way. And and then again, uh, I thought Tress Way had a really another great game punting the ball. Coverage was great, you know, uh, all of that. So it was a really solid game gain and uh, game, and I think it really gives our players a lot of confidence now. Uh, you know. Uh, Playing in in a few ways in the fourth quarter and away from home, you know this is uh, whatever five straight wins now on the road. You know since last year, you know that we finished the year with four very important games and big games on the road a year ago to win, and now this one. So I, I really believe our players, um, you know, have a great confidence in in how they're playing, um, you know, that way and. And hopefully we'll carry it into uh, uh, this week. Uh, well, I guess first, uh, Kenny Stills was the uh, offensive player of the game. Some other guys that really did well on offense, Gabe Eichard, and um, uh, was also a guy up front. Uh, Gabe Eichard and uh, Ben Habern up front were some guys that played uh, played the best. Um, going into this week, it's um, uh, a big challenge. Missouri's a, a very good football team. And uh, everyone knows a year ago uh, we were ranked number one in the country as we went up there to play and, and they knocked us off and beat us and beat us well. So, um, you know, they're still very good uh, in all the things they were a year ago. They got great balance on offense, run and pass. Uh, they do a really good job of both. Uh, their uh, defense, they mix it up and, and coming after you and, and then, you know, good strong structures and what they do, good players all around. Uh, Coach Pinkle and his staff have continued for a long time now to, to do an excellent job. So we understand uh, first conference game 
uh, you know, that it's it's just another major challenge uh, right after the one we just had, and but exciting one, and, and one you know we're we're going to work hard and, and look to and and be prepared for on Saturday. Travis Blue's going to play. Uh, I I believe so, but we'll we'll see how how the week goes. Bob, with, with the extensions for you and Joe and the <coughs> solidarity, considering all the chaos that's going on in college football, when you go on the road and recruit and when you have to do other things, how much of a strength do you take with the solid commitment that OU has behind you? Well, it's been a, 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 a big uh, you know, bonus going on the road recruiting when you look at the consistency we have had as a program and, and consistency, of course, on the field, winning and, and, and all of that, and Big 12 championships and so on and so on. But also, I think they parents take a lot of comfort in knowing uh, you know, that I've been here now 13 years. I've had the same president and athletic director going on for me 13. They, they've been here before I, I was, and that there's great solidarity. There's, uh, uh, you, know, you know, we work together in a, a really positive and great way. Look what we've as all of us together, and, and I say the whole OU community have been able to, to build when you look at facilities and crowds and so on and so on, and even all the university, you know, all that's happened that, you know, there's, there's great stability here, a great future, and uh, one that continues to get better. Bob, did Travis Lewis have much contact late in the week or really you know, any during the week? Not much. He had, he had some on Thursday. Which we're just in shoulder pads and helmets, and then we're going against the scout team, so it's just kind of thud where we get in position, lock guys up, and square people up. You don't really go to the ground, but that was about it. But you know, you you you, you really uh, rely on Travis's experience. He's he's played a long time, and and uh, so we we trusted he would he would be you know ready to play, and he really was. And even conditioning wise, he said he he was really only. Tired at the beginning of the game, which is natural, the excitement plus, you know, the first time you're out there going full speed in, in five, five and a half weeks. But then he adjusted really quickly after that. So with, with him back, what do you do with Jefferson and uh, Nelson? Well, we'll see. Uh, again, you know, that's something that we'll, we'll look at here through the week. And, and uh, you know, and how, you know, is he back, you know, totally or not? We'll see how, how this week goes. But, um, you know, whether we make any adjustments or not. So much being made last year when he was hurt and when he'd be back and players talking about him. Why hasn't Roy Finch been a bigger part of the offense for you guys? Well, he, you know, it's just kind of how it's worked out. These uh, these other guys have done really well. We'll we again we we'll get Roy more and more as uh, as we go, and uh, and these guys have earned that through last spring, this summer, all our work up to this point. We just don't put people in positions without having earned all of it. Fingers being pointed in his direction for that one play. You guys had to burn a timeout. He was signaling to the sideline. He didn't know what the play was. He, he Well, he was late coming off the bench. Uh, we couldn't find him. We were trying to get a certain set in there with him, and, and uh, he wasn't ready to go in. So that ate up about eight seconds before maybe even more by the time we got him in there. It was too late. That hurts his chances to get back on the field no. immediately there? No, after. kids make mistakes. Like That's he not a – like He's not ready no. to play. Let's get him over here. No. Uh, again, that he, that's something he'll learn from. We're not going to hold that against him. And you get chewed out for it, and that's that's the end of it. And, you know, you ought to be up there, you know, closer where we, you know, ready to be in. Coach, I, <clears throat> I read somewhere where Florida State had, like, nine guys miss practice on Monday because of the game on Saturday. Could you talk about how physical you guys played, particularly on the defensive side? Yeah, and, and um, it was a very physical game. Um, and compliment them. They were, too. Um, you know, you, it's, you can't, you know, both sides really were uh, going at it, and there's a lot of big and, and powerful hits. So, um, you know, it was it was one of those. It was definitely that way, um, just being down on the field. There was a lot of great um, collisions and in and, uh, and a physical game. So it was, it was, it was that way for sure. Well, a lot of people uh, were surprised that the defense played that well, frankly. Is this, does this have a chance to be one of your better defenses? Oh, definitely. Um, and I've felt that way really all along. Um, if we can get everybody back at full strength and healthy, it has a chance to be. Uh, you know, I always preface it with the chance. Um, if they'll keep coming on, I, I think uh, a big 
positive was uh, Javon's play. Everyone wondering, you know, hadn't you know played as much a year ago. But we, you know, Javon played some important roles a year ago and, and played well, and and I think he'll continue to come on. And and so uh, uh, Tom Wart was another question mark. That's here he has the first two games of the year. He's been player of the game. Uh, he's just really playing great. So um, you know, some of the question marks are starting to show up as. You know, two two of the question marks are were, were Wart and Jefferson or, and uh, Javon Harris, and they're the two players of the game in in a bit in a big game down at Florida State. So it, we're we're getting there. Uh, in we, the front four, and yeah, the front yeah. four is really playing great. I, those guys up front were were really strong. Uh, Casey Walker, Stacy McGee, all those guys up front. Jay Mack did good. Um, Ron Ellen, uh, David, and and uh, Frank were really solid. So. Uh, I mean, really, the the run game. We we really outside of a quarterback. When we we miss a tackle, we're in position on one of them, and he's a good get player. He made us miss him and got around the corner. Outside of that, there wasn't. You know, we did a pretty good job.